Okay, thank you for being here. Please tell us, what is your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Anna Sutherington and I'm from Stockholm, Sweden. Okay. Anna, now as we are nearly at the end of the Hartung Karpai, can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, how was it for you? What is it about? Wow. Um, it's about many things at once for me. Uh, one of the things, obviously, is to visit these absolutely extraordinary places with, with all the beauty of the landscape. I mean, uh, around Machu Picchu, for example, it's literally, it's the most beautiful landscape I've ever seen in my life. It just made me want to fall down to my knees and start to cry the first time I saw it. But not from sadness, from awe, you know? Uh, and the beautiful architecture and the, the everything. Uh, but it's the combination there, I think, of seeing the beauty, learning about the history, and at the same time meeting it on the energy level. And that makes it much, much deeper than if you go on just a regular tourist uh, uh, package deal, you know, because then they do tell you about the history, but it's all intellectual. And here it's intellectual, it's physical, it's emotional, it's energetical, all at the same time. And that gives so much more. It's a much richer experience, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one part, obviously. The other part, uh, I've been on the, quite a few of these group travels, both Hatun Karpais, the, the left side, the middle, uh, the right side, uh, and also the Path of Viracocha, which was up in the north of Peru, and the, the travels that we call the Path of the Roses. And one thing that I've noticed with every single one of them is that you get the group together, and within like half an hour, you feel as if every single person is family. And I don't know how it happens, it just happens automatically. So you meet all these fantastic people and you get very, very close, very quickly. And that's amazing. Um, and also a lot of laughter. Um, there's a lot of humor. There's always a lot of kidding around with each other. So there's, uh, there's a lot of joy in it as well. Sometimes sadness, but mostly joy. And even the sadness is because you're, you're reaching something inside of you that perhaps you haven't tapped into before. And it comes up to the surface to be healed. So even that is something positive. So, yeah, trying to make a summary is difficult, but uh, to try to be brief, that, that would be the main things for me, I think. Okay, that yeah. sounds fantastic. Thank but, you very much, Anna. Thank you. <laughs>